one year in the synagogue in Kamarna, all the Jewish people were praying on Yom Kippur. The atmosphere in the room was tremendously solemn. Everyone was so serious, crying, getting more and more into the tefillah, into the prayer. You want to take it off. They were getting higher and higher together as a community, asking God for forgiveness. But in the back row sat a peasant and his son. And the son didn't know any Hebrew. He said to his father, Abba, how can I pray? How can I pray if I don't know Hebrew? And his father turned to him and said, son, you need to sign up for classes at MMAE for the Hebrew. <laughs> you know, that's not what he said in Kamarna. He actually said, shh, be quiet. Don't tell anyone. Otherwise, they'll know. It'll be so embarrassing for us. How could it be that we don't know Hebrew? What? And so the son sat there quietly in the back. And the tefillah, the prayer just got holier and holier, louder and louder. The whole congregation was singing. And finally the little boy couldn't stand it any longer. And he cried out and he screamed at the top of his lungs. Cuckoo! Like the rooster on the farm. So that's what he knew how to do. All the people turned to him and said, shh, shh, this is Yom Kippur, quiet. And they continued praying. And as the feeling in the room got thicker and thicker again, and it was so holy, he couldn't stand it any longer, and he yelled, coo, coo. And everybody turned to him and said, quiet, you're ruining the atmosphere. And so they went back to praying. It was really, it was Ne'ilah, the end of the day, the holiest time. And the rabbi said, the gates are closing now. The gates are closing. And he couldn't hold himself back, the little boy, and he stood up and shouted, coo, coo. And at that point, everybody turned, and they were going to chase him out of the shul. Somebody was ready to actually pick him up and throw him out. And as they chased him down the aisle, the rabbi said, stop. The Rebbe of Kabarna was a very old man. He didn't speak much, but he stood up and he screamed. The gates of heaven had been closed all Yom Kippur long to our prayers. And each time he cried out, they opened just a little bit, just enough for our prayers to get through. That voice of the young man, the voice of the lad, that's the sound of the chauffeur. That's the chauffeur blast. It represents pure intent and goes above and beyond all the mishigas that we have, all the logic and the rationalizations and the feelings that we put on all year long. It's just a deep desire to connect to God, to repent, to be the, pre the people that we want to be. And it transcends the boundaries and the walls that we build between each other, between us and God. Joshua blew the chauffeur, we're told, and the walls of Jericho collapsed. And this is also true with the walls in our heart. When we blow the chauffeur, the walls collapse. In the book of Genesis, God created us by blowing his wind, his ruach, his spirit, into our nostrils. And with the chauffeur, we blow that spirit back into the world. We fill the room with that spirit, the spirit of godliness. So it's a very, very, very holy sound, the sound of the chauffeur. But don't let it be too scary. Don't ever let it be too solemn. Sometimes the high holidays can scare us, and that's not the point. They're supposed to be holy, they're supposed to be spiritual, and even fun. We should look forward to them, we should smile and laugh, because we know it's gonna be a good year, there's a blessing in store for all of us. And so, we have the chauffeur blowing contest to make sure that we have some fun. And uh, if you laugh at each one of us who's uh, trying not to blow the chauffeur and to win, just remember that uh, when we take ourselves way too seriously, God laughs at us also. So without further ado, let the 2010 MMAE Chauffeur Blowing Contest commence.
The first stand you I want to give thanks to Chauffeur's Furniture for sponsoring this event. <laughs> I'm not kidding, they sponsored the event. Okay. Our first category is going to be loudest, and it's going to be for the children and youth category. So I want to call up Eden, Rose, Jacob, and Lily to come up to the Bima. 